This episode of Joe Genius is brought to you by Gorilla Glue. What's better than learning about backyard science on the internet? Ha <laughs> ha, nothing! This is Joe Genius. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Joe Genius, where backyard science goes big time. I'm Jonah Ray, and strap yourself in, Isaac Newton, because this show's all about gravity. Gravity causes everything with mass to pull on every other thing with mass. The more mass you got, the stronger the pull. Our planet is pretty darn massive, which is why you feel your butt securely planted in your chair right now instead of floating around. But gravity can make life a lot more fun if you can harness it effectively. So as usual, we search the world for the ultimate in science fun. Yes, it's real science that's also fun. And we found some Joe geniuses taking gravity up. So come on down, Bob Barker. This clip comes to us from Dave Rock in Canada. He calls it a redneck roller coaster. This 91 Cavalier turned joyride is complete with a license plate that says insane. Oh, oh, we the nose. Oh, we the nose. I really should say I just have too much time on my hands. <laughs> Twisting and turning in his giant backyard is a norm for Joe Genius Dion Collins, all thanks to his homemade roller coaster. Okay, here we are. Try to hold on to this thing while I'm riding it. The science behind Dion's screen machine shows that a little work, namely lifting the car to the elevated start of the track, goes a long way. <laughs> lifting creates potential energy. Get the car moving, and gravity turns that potential energy into pure, thrilling speed. As this coaster hits about 30 miles per hour, which is way faster than a Segway. Dion says the roller coaster came with the house, which was really awesome until he found out the house didn't have any bathrooms. Oh, on the brakes, end of track. Successful ride. These next guys are deconstructing construction equipment, applying all the principles of gravity, monster truck style. If I had to think of a time to thank our sponsor, it would be now. And our sponsor is Gorilla Glue. You know, Gorilla Glue for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. For more information about it, you can visit GorillaGlue.com. Or just head on down to your hardware store and ask them where the Gorilla Glue is, and they'll say, it's right here, we love this stuff. There's one excavator ride that's becoming so popular in South Carolina that it's now a real competition. Eh, but so is drinking yourself to sleep. Mud hole water skiing, South Carolina. Get this, the top prize in this mud hole water skiing contest was 65 bucks. Now that guy can get a new pair of cargo pants. I'm a winner! Go, go, go! Andy Coleman from Tennessee never throws anything away. He goes by that old saying, you know, one person's trash is another person's babysitter. The major pieces of this electric swing include the rear axle of a 68 Chevy pickup and a motor from an old printing press. <laughs> this guy's a dad, so of course he's got to make it safe for the kids. So he geared down the motor from 1,750 revolutions per minute, or RPMs, to 12 RPMs. Because obviously he doesn't want his kids to have any fun. All right, who's ready for some advanced science rides? How about, I don't know, a centrifuge? Good, because I would probably talk about it anyway. This is Mark Gray's home design. A centrifuge is a contraption that revolves to create extreme acceleration, like a whole lot of gravity on tap. When a person is spun in a giant centrifuge, they're exposed to a huge amount of artificial gravity. The faster they spin, the harder that force pulls on them. Mark's might look a little different from NASA's, but he built his in just two days. He used steel beams formed into hexagons to make this self-powered, six-axis gyro motion ride. Gyroscopic motion tries to keep a spinning object staying at the same angle. That's why a bicycle doesn't fall over. 
Mark is accelerating around a pivot, which works up a huge sweat. I'll just get my workout when I play the Wii Fit. Now, obviously, Mark did a great job using science to make his ride, but as we all know, not everything goes as planned. You know that you're going to flip, so be prepared for that. I'm going to flip. So, well, remember, I just don't want you to hurt your neck. My neck. I'm getting this on video. I don't want you to hurt your neck. <laughs> it's all for the bike, you did. It's all for the bike, you did. As long as you know, buddy. All right. I'm not ready for this, but I am. Ah, yes. And that's why we give this dude the Joe Headache Award. He was there for the Vicodin. Everyone else was there for his intervention. Hey, check it out. We found some Joe geniuses flying through the air. Can your heart stand the human slingshot? All right, come in! Come in! Yeah! Woo! She's freaking out. <laughs> it's pretty simple how these Utah teams designed this contraption. It's great. By stretching the taut cord, the ATV supplied the slingshot with plenty of stored energy for an electrifying ride. And just as Dion did earlier by lifting his roller coaster car to the gate, all Joe geniuses know that putting in some work at the start makes for a mind blowing fetch. Great. These next videos follow the simple instruction, just add water. These teams from England had to cut through a massive tree in their backyard to build this mega slide. It's made out of an old drainage pipe and it took three days to build. A lot of downtime in England. All right, let's take a deeper science dive. Graphics, please. Gravity, it's continually pulling us down towards the center of the Earth, much like a clingy ex-girlfriend pulls us back into a horrible relationship. A frustrating reality when climbing a hill or trying to move on with your life, but pretty darn awesome when your roller coaster speeds down a drop. A true Joe genius knows you need to take gravity in measured doses. Too steep a drop and your next ride could be in an ambulance. The only thing resistant gravity on these rides is friction. Too much of it and your homemade ride won't be as much fun. But remember that a little bit of friction is important because it keeps you in control. Here's some guys doing their best to take friction out of the equation. All parents worry about what their kids are up to when they're away. You know, be it girls, boys, kagers, weird science. But this? Ron Marks from Illinois built a 60-foot water slide from the roof of his home, henceforth becoming the coolest kid on the block. <laughs> Just let yourself go. Ron and his Joe Genius friends created this one-of-a-kind water slide with plywood, steel cables, a plastic tarp, and a conduit for flexibility. They rigged the bottom of the slide with three rows of one inch thick conduit, which allowed the slide to absorb the shock of the weight when sliding down. Damn. It took seven days and a lot of reinforcement. Oh, and words to the wise, if you don't want your parents finding out about this, try to avoid the media. Because sadly, Ron's parents got wind of it and he had to take it down before they got home from vacation. Wah, wah. You know what? Right now is a good time to thank our sponsor, Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. For more information, visit GorillaGlue.com or head to your local hardware store to check out all their amazing products for yourself. Don't be a tool. Get Gorilla Glue. And now, intrepid viewer, it's time for our coveted Joe Genius Award. In this episode, we've witnessed some world-class inventions that not only harness, but defy gravity. And after a careful review of today's queue of ultra geniuses, our Joe Genius of the Week is... Ron Marks for his one-of-a-kind water slide. Congrats, Ron. You are a winner. So there you have it, gravity. It's a force that's all around us. But the fun comes in when we test it and try to control it the Joe Genius way, with homemade rides and no rules or safety regulations. 
Thanks for watching Joe Genius. I'm Joe Naray, making the world a better place to experiment in the backyard. I'll see you later. Joe Genius is brought to you in part by the National Science Foundation.